so today on basically Monday um, August 11th Robin Williams died now I want to say that there will be no ads placed on this video by me if there are any ads placed on this video it is by YouTube themselves okay I'm not gonna place any ads on this video very simple um, so Robin Williams was mainly known for a, a, a lot of roles in my opinion um, but the main ones that come to mind when I think of him would be Night at the Museum, um, Hook, which Hook is, is basically Peter Pan, um, so if you haven't watched that, watch it, uh, you got Jumanji, you got RV, you got Flubber, there's, there's a lot of movies that he did that are very good, um, if you want to look up a very good speech, uh, Frankie on PC on 1080p, I believe, uses the speech in his videos, um, but you can look it up, basically, you know, sometimes when you win, you lose. Just look that up and put raw. Put sometimes when you win, you lose. Robin Williams and just watch that speech. It's a very good speech and it's really good. Um, but just search that up if you want to watch it. But you know, people are always jumping about how actors died, how comedians died, how movie stars died, and you know, it's it's basically like why like. The way I look at it is, you know, no matter which way they die, it, you know, it doesn't matter which way they die. It just matters what they did during their life. You know what I'm saying? Like, he apparently committed suicide. People were jumping on people's shit about that and stuff. They're, they're like, oh, well, he sucks because he committed suicide and stuff. And he wasn't thinking straight. Um, but he suffered through depression. And while you're going through depression... And while that happens, and you come up to do that sort of thing, you don't really think about what it's going to impact, like what what it will impact to your family, what it will impact to your fans, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, essentially, depression don't give a f You know what I'm saying? It's going to get its way, one way or another. Um, and you just got to fight it so much. You got to fight it so much. Um, but he fought it, fought it, fought it, and you know, I guess it eventually caught up to him, um, it's very sad, because in this world today, we're losing talent, uh, just all over the place, like, either they're going from old age, or stuff like that, and it's really good talent, like, you have, you know, the Three Stooges, I know the Three Stooges died a while back, not the brand new ones, 2012, I'm talking about the original classic Three Stooges, uh, Mo, Larry, Curly, um, they're dead, Andy Griffith, is dead as well. I'm from the Andy Griffith Show. Um, I'm not sure if Barney from the Andy Griffith Show is dead or not. But, you know, you got all these people who made you laugh, who made you smile and stuff, and they're just gone. But you have to cherish what they made during their life. Um, one of my most favorite uh, people who made funny move movies who passed away and died um, is Jim Varney, and, you know, if, if you haven't watched any of his Ernest movies, they're very funny, he started off by making TV commercials and stuff, um, but the thing is, is when these funny people or actors or movie stars or singers die, we have to cherish and, you know, see the legacy they left behind, you know, we got to keep it going because of what they did they did to give us endless hours of entertainment you know and we need to look at that people are looking at the negative the negative is that he did that and he didn't care about anybody while doing that uh he basically ended himself didn't care about anybody while doing that that's not what we need to look at we need to look at what these people left you know what what their legacy was what they left for us to enjoy that's what you need to look at and, yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.